will move over to the other side of the track and get ready for our second heat as it's the 5,000 meters semifinals here at the Visit Jack's track. Take it over across and we'll get introduced to our runners. The three-time NCAA champion in track. She's the NCAA indoor champion in this event. She's the NCAA outdoor champion at uh, this event as well. From NC State, Caitlin Tui. That's Elizabeth Lins, LaSalle, Parker, Valby of Florida. There on the inside, Valby then taking the point. Mancini to her right. Caitlin Tui of NC State right there in third, as well as Churchill from Florida State. Everybody bunched together, all 24, as they come up through the first 400 meters. We'll get the 400 split. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, an announcement from the NCAA. For information about our NCAA championships two weeks from today, they're in Austin, Texas. Want to make plans to go? Go to NCAA.com. You can follow then all the drop downs, find out about ticket information, things you need to know about the NCAA championships coming up in two weeks in Austin, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, as the athletes are approaching the home straightaway, let's give our special thanks to our track and field officials who've been here all four days doing a marvelous job here at the NCAA East Regions. Thank you, officials.
Mile coming up now, 5.06.07. Caitlin Tui dictating the pace. You've got then Elizabeth Mancini, Parker Valby of Florida, Allison Churchill, Florida State, and Siona Chisholm of Notre Dame there in the green. That's your top five dictating the pace, setting this race up. Coming up, they'll have two miles to go. Thousand meters at 621, 3K to go. Tui again continues to lead. Tui begins the defense of her NCAA title in this event. She was our outdoor champion a year ago. If you were in Eugene, you remember that storied sprint finish. Tui and Parker Valby, our top two running right there in the race. Just a sensational finish there. Tui's time of 15, 18, 39 is the number three time in collegiate history in this event. So you've got the top two in the United States running side by side. Caitlin Tui of NC State and Parker Valby of Florida. <laughs> NCAA runner-up Valby, her time 15:20 in that same race. What a great finish up that straightaway in Eugene it was. It was 15:20.1. She the number four time in collegiate history. So college's best distance runners right there, one and two, Tui and Valby. So you're getting a special treat here, my friends, watching these two collegians. Chisholm of Notre Dame there in the green for the Fighting Irish. You got Churchill, Florida State, Mancini of LaSalle. All right there in the fray. Mile and a half to go, six laps. Grace Hartman of NC State and Maya Ramsden of Harvard right there as well in that group. You see a nice group there of about nine runners. All within a second or two of each other. If you count everybody, I think you've got uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 or 12. In fact, all in that 931 at 3,000 meters. Go through 931 at 3K. 932 at the angle, that's 9, 10, 11, all within about a second and a half. So it's a great race there. 
Jane Buckley, Providence, she's been there. Kelsey Camille talked about her, the 4.0 student now doing graduate studies. She was an NCAA Elite Award winner. Addie Engel, the Big Ten Cross Country Athlete of the Year. Sarah Schmidt of Indiana University, right there. Schoberg of Boston University as well, chasing the pack. Coming up the straightaway, they hit the line. They'll have a mile to go. 10 in that group. Five get the automatic bid. And then we'll look at the combined results of all the runners. And two will get a time qualifying invitation to complete in Austin. Tui, Valby, Chisholm, Churchill, Ramsden, Hartman. Right there in the fray. Kelsey Camille, Jane Buckley as well. Trying to get a little separation. Have seven now in that group. Now, Parker Valby and Caitlin Tui, two All-Americans, the NCAA champion and runner-up side-by-side, sharing the pacing chores, and they have hotted up the pace, and they're now running sub-five-minute mile pace as they go down to the back straightaway and hit 4,000 meters. Twelve miles an hour they fly into that turn. Valby, Tui, Chisholm, Churchill, Buckley. Five stay alive. They'll come up the straightaway. Nine hundred meters to go now. Seven in that group. Eight hundred remains. And now you can see the pace really quick. Tui and Balby. So now three. Tui, Valby, and Churchill, Florida State, running the race of her life. Lap and a half to go. That's three, and that group of four behind them, two get the automatic, and then we got to look at everybody else's time. At the bell, Caitlin Tui, the defending NCAA champion, on her way. She's got Parker Valby, the NCAA runner-up in this event, right there in second. And Allison Churchill of Florida State. Then you've got Chisholm of Notre Dame, Camille of NC State. Lapping runners in the back straightaway. Buckley of Providence, Ramsden of Harvard. Side by side now, Notre Dame's Chisholm and Kelsey Camille of NC State. Tui, 
coming up on 150 meters to go. Your NCAA champion a year ago. Saw her in the 15 qualify earlier, and here she comes, Parker Balby in second. This is Caitlin Tui, ladies and gentlemen, on her way to defend her title in Austin. Tui will be first. Balby will be second. Allison Churchill of Florida State. She gets third. And what an amazing race as it goes North Carolina State with Tui, Florida, and the Gators as Parker Valby really running well. And then you see Florida State is Allison Churchill. Fantastic time right there. As the results start to trickle in officially it's such a challenging race our second heat of the 5,000 meters Ladies and, gentlemen. and then Tui right there alongside Mancini in our second heat and Tui there crossing the finish line time at 15 30 just amazing numbers from these Folks, as the teams are starting to get ready, here we go. As that is a facility record. Now, impressive. It had been Emily Sasson of Providence back in 2015, but that new time of 1531, facility record for Caitlin Tui. That's going to be a tough one to beat over the years for sure. 